I just like pushing myself and seeing how far I can go. Pierre Carter is a man on a mission. Based in Johannesburg, 44-year-old Carter has for the past two decades managed to scale some of the globe's tallest and most perilous mountains and then proceeded to throw himself off them. Um, I've, had, I've broken my hip and I've broken my, my arm and wrist and from, from hitting the ground. <laughs> I guess any accident, it will, yeah, the ground's hard and when you stop suddenly it's, it's sore. Um, but it comes with the territory, yeah. A building contractor by profession, Carter started mountain climbing in primary school before deciding in 1988 to strap a parachute to his back and begin the extreme sport of paragliding. Yeah, so it all began paragliding in 88 and then from there I just went to strength to strength and uh, eventually competed competitively and got my Springbok colours in 91 and 93 and 95. And then I had a little baby uh, and got married and that and uh, decided I'll step out the, uh, to the safer side of paragliding and uh, stop the competitive flying because you're always pushing the envelope there and, and you get into dangerous situations more than you would normally. As my daughter got older I then decided okay, I can actually start uh, going back into it again and uh, unfortunately I have to do these things so I tried stopping or slowing down or but then you become unhappy and <laughs> so you have to yeah it's in my in my blood somewhere. Deciding in 2003 to take his obsession for mountaineering and paragliding to new heights Pierre came up with the ambitious seven summits seven flights adventure. Initially setting out solo the expedition of a lifetime now sees Pierre joined by a small team this is teamwork, guys. As they hike to the summits of the tallest mountains on each continent and then fly off them. Um, it is harder mentally, I guess, with not having a team around you and mates around you. Um, so I asked uh, um, Marianne Swankart from a friend of mine, a climbing friend, to join me, and she's a photojournalist for The Times. We decided then we might as well, the two of us decided we might as well document this and actually get it all on because it'll be a first time if it's ever done successfully. So we've got two camera guys, also climbing friends of ours. And so it uh, ends up looking for four of us, you're looking at um, about 1.2 million per person to do all seven. And we've, uh, by the end of this year we would have done three um, with four left um, and they are all the expensive ones. Not satisfied with setting records and completing his world first seven summits, seven flights adventure, Pierre will also in July this year take on one of the world's toughest and most extreme adventure sport events, the Red Bull X Alps. Non stop, 24 hours, 24 7, from uh, a point in Europe ending in Monaco. Then go and they give you turn points, little mountain peaks you have to pass or, or go through a cylinder. So they either have a one kilometer cylinder or six kilometer cylinder, all depending on how dangerous the peak is to, to get into due to crevasses and uh, glaciers, etc. They, they pretty much take you down the spine of the Alps all the way, ending in Monaco, some 860 kilometers as the crow flies uh, later. So you end up doing about, if you make it to Monaco, you'll end up doing about 1,300 Ks. Being the only South African to have qualified and competed in the X Alps adventure, Pierre was unfortunately eliminated in his 2009 attempt due to an injury. But hopes to fly the SA flag high at the finish line this year. I would like to stay in the race, not get a eliminated or injure myself. And uh, come in the top 10 would be great. Oh. If you wish to follow Pierre's progress live as he takes on the Alps and crosses five countries, you can do so right here on the Times Live multimedia site.